Hello again and welcome to another one of my uh, chats. Um, this one's going to be on um, Viata as per normal really. Um, this one hopefully is going to be a lot more relevant to those of you out there that have run a small home network and have got a box running something like PFSense or Smoothwall or something on those lines and you fancy something a little bit different. Um, so we've got a single Viata box here um, and if it's not a home network it's also good for kind of a small company with like a one site shop really um, that uh, they want to put install device as their perimeter device for the rest of the world um, we've got a simple workstation here which we're going to do some tests from and things uh, and we've got a machine over here which is going to be our remote admin box so it's got um, Microsoft Terminal Sales Services Remote Administration enabled and it's also got IIS so a website and when hopefully we're going to be publishing this all securely um, we're also going to enable things like uh, DNS forwarding and caching uh, web caching and filtering so uh, we're going to disable Facebook for example um, and I think that's about it to be honest with you there's a lot there to get on with anyway um, the appliance that I'm using today I've grabbed from here um, it's the VC6 release VC6 I think it's Alpha 2 I believe um, and as that comes out of the box it's already configured kind of pretty much for us. I literally just turn this on, um, pick the networks that it's going to um, and then with a bit of luck, yeah, see we have internet access and, I, and I've I've done nothing to configure it yet. In fact I'm going to have to unconfigure it to show you guys what to do. Um, okay, uh, let's go through some of the IP ranges. So our LAN IP range is 192.168.10 zero that that there is our LAN IP range um, the LAN interface um, facing the uh, LAN so this would be our default router configuration for example or our DNS configuration because everything is going to be pointing to the Viata box is going to be 192.168.10.1 uh, our WAN IP address so in your particular scenario this would be the IP address you're getting from your internet provider is uh, 192.168 um, 0 dot, um, 84. obviously that's an RFC um, 1918 address but, and you wouldn't be getting those from your ISP so um, just bear that in mind um, and we can just check that this all works because I can do an IP config here uh, hold on a minute Perhaps you have a window to show the results in. Okay, uh, so th that is the DHCP information that we're currently getting, and we can ping our default router as you'd expect, and also we can ping Google. Um, and we can also currently visit the Book of Faces. There you go. Okay, um, so let's turn off some stuff so that we actually can um, see it all being uh, reconfigured again. If we have a look here, so if I do a, um, I'm already in the, and let's take you all the way back out. Okay, so I'm logging on with root and Viata, and if I then jump into configuration mode and do show services you'll see the services that are currently enabled so we've got a DHCP server that's currently serving serving up our LAN subnet it's also pushing out some configuration information as you'd expect it to really the default router the DNS server the uh, domain name so the, 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 the domain that we're in uh, and here's the range of IP so it starts at 192.168.10.10 and it finishes at 200. We've got DNS forwarding with caching and we're forwarding it to these particular DNS servers. These two servers are the, D the open DNS primary and secondary DNS servers. We've got uh, a very simple NAT configuration that is um, just NATing our internal LAN. Okay, let's now break it. So, uh, delete service that and we want to get rid of that too and I believe we want to get rid of that and let's commit and let's see what we have so now we've just got SSH and as we'd expect 
So we can still ping our default router. Can't ping Google. And have we got So we've got no IP connectivity at all, as we'd expect because we just got rid of the NAT rules. How about um, do we have any DNS servers available to us? And I can tell you now that's not going to work. Okay, uh, so let's go in and reconfigure it. So um, making it work again. I'm going to set it up as, you can make this any name you like, you call it my pool or my LAN, anything like that. I'm just going to call it pool1 for a moment. Specify the subnet, this is going to be the subnet in which you want your range to be in. And then you've got to specify some configuration information. So we want it to point to this particular router we want it to go to this particular DNS server which is what we expect because that's all with the outer box I'm going to configure it with this as a domain name and then we want our start and stop IP so we want it to start at 192.168.10.15 and let's stop at 192 dot one six eight dot ten dot two hundred now why have I left a little bit either side um, the reason I've done that is because uh, I like to uh, leave a space for you know static IPs um, you know an enterprise LAN that could be something like I don't know your uh, VM kernel interface or uh, it could be something as simple as the web administration on a switch um, but I, I like to keep them um, a certain set either side okay so that's done and then I'm going to commit that so we missed out nothing okay then let's see that's where that's left us now so as you can see the DHCP um, timed out so let's do a renew there let's wait a bit and there we go so that's back up now um, but we still don't have IP connectivity no because what do we need for that uh, we need NAT so let's do that next so set service NAT 10 that's our going to be our outbound interface so that would be um, your WAN interface for example and the source you can imagine that the source is going to be your internal LAN because that's the LAN that you're hiding Okay, so I was testing IP connectivity now, 208.67.222.222. There we go, there's our IP connectivity. Now, do we have DNS connectivity? No, let's set that up now. So, set service DNS, it's forwarding. Uh, we want it to listen on our LAN interface and we need to set up some name servers to forward to if it doesn't know um, what the particular name is okay how about now okay good so we, now we've got name resolution uh, so we've got name resolution, IP connectivity, so we have DNS access, sorry, um, web access. Okay, so now we're pretty much back where we started before we went crazy and deleted everything. Um, let's have a look to see what else we've got. So um, we're going to come back to the firewall stuff actually. So.